Hello and welcome to this brief tutorial from biggerplate.com showing you how to efficiently navigate mind maps created using AOA. Now the best way to navigate your AOA mind maps is to click in any empty space where there's not currently a branch. And if you click and drag you'll see you can pull the screen around like so. You can also use the arrow keys to move in between your branches so if I click over here this left hand side the building your map branch and then use the right arrow key I can jump across and jump between different branches. Now to zoom in and out in your map you have a few options. If your computer supports it you may find that you're able to use some mouse or trackpad functionality so mouse wheels or for example I'm using a trackpad on a Mac and therefore I can use two fingers and if I scroll up or down it'll zoom in or zoom out. You also have these buttons in the bottom right corner of your screen. The plus button will obviously zoom in while the minus will zoom out. Finally you have this fit to screen button which if I press this will ensure that everything that's currently open in the map is neatly presented inside your screen. So obviously if you've got everything open, all of your branches open, then it'll zoom very far out so you can fit everything in. But it's just a nice way of seeing everything that's currently open neatly within your screen. Another useful way to navigate your maps is to use the search functionality up here. So if we click on this little magnifying glass, you'll see you get a search bar there. And currently it's set to search everywhere, which means whatever I type into this search bar, it'll search for it in all of my AOA mind maps. For the purposes of this exercise, I'm going to select this option, which means it'll only search within this mind map. And if, for example, I type in search, it'll show a list form of any branches that contain the word search. There's only one here. So if I click on that, you'll see it highlights it down there. Now, it's not particularly useful in this exercise because we haven't got a very densely populated mind map. But you can imagine if you had a vast mind map with a lot of information in it and you knew exactly what you were looking for but not sure where to find it, you can use the search functionality to help you locate it within your map. Now to hide branches within your AOA mind maps, you've got a couple of options. You can either click the collapse button. So if I click on hiding branches here, you'll see there's this little button which will collapse branches and I can press it again to reinstate them. Or you can use the shortcut command or control on a PC and the arrow key. So if I use command and the left arrow key, that'll collapse it in command and the right arrow key will open it out again. There's also a setting within AOA called auto hide where if I come up to this top right hand corner here, this top menu and select that and say auto hide on, it'll basically hide anything that I'm not currently working on. So you'll see it's collapsed all of these branches around here and if I for example click back on navigating, it'll collapse another level again. So it's basically just a useful way of keeping your mind map very very clean and only showing the information that you're currently working on. Hopefully that's all you need to efficiently navigate your AOA mind maps. For more AOA templates, tutorials and training, visit biggerplate.com.